Dear boys and girls, today I have come to you with another topic and the most important topic in learning English that is tense. And if you are asked what is tense? Actually tense is of the verb and it acts in three different ways. First, present tense that is what happens usually in our day-to-day -day life that is universal truth that is historical truth, that is scientific truth, etc. Present tense, past tense, that has already happened, that has already occurred. And future tense, that is going to happen, or that is going to occur. So, if you are asked what is tense, you are to say tense is of the verb that suggests three different times like present, past and future. Okay? Now, the question may automatically arise then what are the different forms of the verbs? What are the tenses? First of all, let us take present tense that occurs or that happens that exists and that is scientific truth, that is historical truth, that is universal truth. Okay. Present tense is divided into four different items or four different categories. First of all, present infinite tense, then present continuous tense, then present perfect tense, then present perfect continuous tense. Okay. So, indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Don't forget. You may note down just indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. And today's topic of discussion is present indefinite tense present indefinite tense. Then what is present indefinite tense? Present indefinite tense suggests that ha happens or occurs or that takes place every day in our day-to-day -day life or that is scientifically proved that is historically truth and that is universally accepted. Clear? For example, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So, the sun is third person singular number. So, according to the number and person of the subject, the verb is governed. 
as the subject is third person singular number you will have to add s or es with the finite verb so the sun rises in the east and sets in the west this is truth and unchangeable truth okay for example my grandmother every day bathes in the river my grandmother every day bathes in the river my grandmother third person singular number and bath is finite verb so the number and person of the subject governs the finite verb bathes or bath clear this is present indefinite tense another example may be given for example i go to school every day go to school every day go is the finite verb because and there is no s or es because i is first person okay you help your mother in the kitchen every day you help your mother every day in the kitchen so you is second person and help is the finite verb so there is no need to add s or es the number and person of the subject says that you should not use s or es with the finite verb so it is also an example of present indefinite tense another example i may give trees exhale oxygen that we inhale trees exhale oxygen that we inhale so it is also present indefinite tense and it is scientifically proved that trees exhale or without oxygen and we inhale it clear so trees third person plural number so there is no need to add s or yes to the finite verb and we are at liberty to use inhale because first person plural number is the subject clear another example is that my mother every day prepares different kinds of food items for us so it is to be noted that my mother is third person singular number so prepares prepare is the finite verb and you have added s or es to the finite verb according to the number and person of the subject clear so what is present indefinite tense another example i should mention that is historical truth alexander invades india not invaded alexander invades india you are at liberty to use present indefinite tense to describe history alexander invades india so alexander is third person singular number and finite verb is invade and you have added s or yes to the finite verb 
So the, in the case of historical truth also, you can use present indefinite tense. Clear? Then what is the definition of present indefinite tense? A tense that suggests what that suggests some incidents, some happenings, some occurrings in our day to day life. Then it is called present indefinite tense. It is indefinite in the sense that it has no restriction. It occurs, it happens, it takes place every day in our daily life or, or it happened in the past but it suggests history, science, universal truth etc. Clear? And the formula is that subject plus verb plus object. The construction should be the subject plus verb plus object. And if the subject is third person singular number, you are to use S or S Yes or yes with the finite verb. That's all. And last but not least, I request all of you, if my grammatical item comes to your benefit, please subscribe my channel, please like it and please share it. Thank you. Good night.